Has this ever happened to you in your Flutter app where text is overflowing, but you only want to resize the text if it actually is overflowing? So for example, the text size here is 25, and I would like to keep it 25 if the text does fit. So if it is just my full name, it does fit and I want that to be 25, but then if it's larger, I would like this to be something smaller, maybe like 15. Well, there are a couple ways we can handle this. Firstly, we can just wrap this in an expanded widget, and you'll see this will break the text down to two lines. And then with the text here, you can also set an overflow and you can do a text overflow of ellipses. And this is a valid way to solve the problem. The overflow is now gone. However, you'll never be able to read what is there. And it isn't quite doing what we wanted, which is making this smaller. Another thing we can do after adding the expanded is to wrap the text in another widget. And this is going to be a fitted box. If you set up your fitted box like this, it is always going to put the text on one line. And this will work regardless of how long the text is. It will just continue to get smaller and smaller. But now you might notice when it is this, this larger font size, regardless of what we are setting our font size to, it's always keeping it at the expanded version of the text. So this is actually a little bit larger than we would like it to be. You can fix that by changing the fit and changing it to a box fit scaled down. So you can see now that is 15 and if it was the 25, it will be back to what it was. Also, our text is now center aligned. So we would also want to change the alignment here to be the alignment of center left. So now it will act essentially how it did before when it was just a text field. This is great and probably the best way I would recommend to resize your text if you have just one line of text that you're resizing. However, if you want to have multiple lines of text, the solution is actually not going to be enough. Meaning if you wanted, even if you set this to a max lines of two, this will be ignored as I said before, when we had the multiple lines, it's always just going to be one line. So even though we want this to be two lines, it's always gonna be one line. So to have more control over your text resizing, there is a Flutter package you can use and it is called Auto Size Text. So I'll add this to my project and show you how you can use that. If we go into the terminal, we can just add it with the command here. And once it's added, you'll be able to change any text element to an Auto Size Text element. So we're back to our original example and I did change the text here to be a a little bit longer because the goal here or what I'm going to demonstrate is how to get this text on two lines but then also to auto resize if it doesn't fit on two lines to be smaller. So again though you might be thinking you could just wrap this in expanded and then also set the max lines to two and this does kind of work except you can see that since this is too large it isn't now resizing it which is the goal that we're going for here this is fine to keep but now that we have that package we can change this from a text field to an auto size text field and it basically acts the same way as text all the parameters are the same but it will auto size the text so you can see right now it immediately fixed that so this is great and now your max lines will be used, but then also your text will be shrunk to fit on those max lines. There are a couple other parameters you can add for this. For instance, you can set a minimum font size. If I set my minimum font size to 25, then that means it's not going to shrink the text at all. And you'll see we're back to kind of what we were at with our original setup. This is useful if you maybe want to make this title like 18 max or something. And then of course, if this was much longer, it will just do the two lines. And then once it gets to that 18 font size, it'll just go and use whatever you have for your overflow. Auto size text is very useful. And overall, if you have multi-line text, it's the best way that I have found to kind of control text overflows with multi-line text.